instructional things, you got to kind of, you got to understand you know, that what can be presented in a video uh, training scenario is going to be limited. There's no, there's really no, it's really hard to replace in-person live training because there's those deeper parts of the art, the questions that come up, the what ifs, the, that really help you to comprehend what it is you're doing. You know, just like the old wax on, wax on, why am I cleaning this wall? Why am I putting paint on this fence, you know? Uh, and if you, sometimes if you don't have someone to answer those questions for you, then you really don't comprehend the importance of it. And if you don't un comprehend the value and the importance of what you're training, sometimes it's hard to put that passion into that training that you need to glean what's supposed to be gleaned from it. And so, you know, that, I think as, uh, that, that's the danger. But at the same time, there's people that just don't have access to an instructor. So video training resources are a valuable tool for getting knowledge to people that may not otherwise have access to it, but that needs to be supplemented with some in-person live training so you can get those the, the, the deeper understanding of what it is that you're actually learning. Yeah. Right, it's true. I think, I think uh, at the core of it, when, when you know, I, I watched the, the, the little shorts and teasers you put out when you went to interview uh, G and Bobby, uh, Tabuada, you know, uh, how he shows it, how he trains it, is uh, a, a way to develop skill sets, right? Uh, he uh, explicitly said himself, this is not a fight. You know, these are drills to help you develop um, reaction time, uh, help, help you develop um, speed, power, control, all these kinds of things. And he says himself, it's straight out not a fight. But you don't think that if GM Bobby were ever to get in an altercation, that he'd go to wrestling, he's gonna use what he knows, you know? And um, there is a uh, detriment to this generation of um, uh, people that are coming into practice, martial arts in general, but with FMA. They want the instant thing, you know? And in some instances, there are definitely techniques that you can learn in one day and, and apply it, given an altercation or, or a situation that comes up. But at the same time, to get a better understanding of, of the technique and the lethality of what can happen, you do need to, to invest and put the time in. You're, you're not gonna become a doctor overnight, right? You have to go through a certain amount of education, the theoretical side, then you have to put the time in to actually know what it is that you're doing. And then you get creative. Without that foundation, you're not gonna be the martial artist that, that you want to be. Or at the very least, to be able to defend yourself where, uh, you're gonna be able to go home.